Hey, what's going on? Today we're gonna talk about the whole review 2v2. I'm gonna play devil's advocate in this video for some things that some people didn't like and some things that I didn't like and I know other people didn't like. So let's get started. The whole thing about Twitch, I hate Twitch. I don't use Twitch. I think watching people play games is something that I, I just, it doesn't make sense to me like for example, if I can be playing the game, I would much rather be playing the game than watching somebody else play. Um, I understand some people like it, that's fine, but uh, me personally, I don't like it. So uh, being forced to watch some fatty playing a game was not very good for me. I didn't enjoy it. I know a lot of people didn't enjoy watching gameplay, especially people who never shut up right like they keep talking the whole stream like i'm just trying to listen to the game watch the gameplay but i can't because fatty over here got a quick scope and he he's screaming now and i can't hear shit right i didn't like the whole twitch thing personally i know a lot of people didn't like it as well we couldn't even watch the graphics to its full potential because it was locked to 900 pixels or P, whatever you want to call it, 900P. Um, I thought that was stupid. Like, just give me a trailer or have a developer with the gameplay in the background talk to me about multiplayer and what they're doing this year and the things they're at. Like, I just don't want to watch gameplay, bro. It, it's not my thing. I don't like it. Um, so that was like a huge thing for me next thing that people did not like or have a problem with is the movement the movement looked kind of clunky kind of battlefield rainbow six siege type of thing i i can see what what they're saying because i i play battlefield i i love battlefield and the clunky movement is something that i don't like but i learned to tolerate it because battlefield is a good game or a good franchise right like I always enjoyed battlefield um, so it, it, I tolerate it. it it's not that that bad right but in Call of Duty which is a smaller map you have 12v12 I'm sorry 6v6 right 12 or 10v10 whatever it is a problem especially for people that rush like myself that is a problem because you can't make snappy moves and if there's like two three people in the room I'm gonna get killed right without hesitation so I can understand why people are upset about this personally I think it's a good idea um, I don't know if this is by design or it's just the new engine that is having this issue but I think it's a good thing um, it's gonna make all of us adapt to playing a new type of playing style so I'm not not a big contrarian on that side if it is planned right now if it's just because of the engine then they do need to work on that um i didn't see a big issue but i understand why people don't want it right like i know some people have played battlefield and they didn't like the movement system and all that um because in battlefield like i said it does feel clunky like it doesn't feel like the characters have weight it feels more like there's a delay and in rainbow six siege the same thing it doesn't feel like the characters have waited there's like a one millisecond or one second delay I, I don't know what it is but when you press to go prone it takes like a second for the character to go prone that's not because the character weighs anything it's just there is a delay input delay and I, I don't like it but um, if that's not the case with Call of Duty if it's just uh, the, the characters being heavier or whatever or they're making it feel heavier then that's fine you know for me personally I, I, I really don't care but um, if it, there is a delay then that will mess with a lot of people's gameplay right like nobody wants that alright so they should probably fix it as soon as possible if it's not planned um, next thing that we're going to talk about is the hitbox. The hitbox, I, I don't know what, what what's going on, but I saw some dude 
you know, with the sniper, the fatty. Was it Legion? I, I don't know. But he has a sniper, right? And he aims down his side and he shoots. And the sight is not even on the guy that he's shooting, right? Like, it's a little to the left. That would not be a hit, but it's a hit. And he gets the kill and it, it goes on the kill cam. I don't know why that is, right? Like, for example, Treyarch, I understand because... Treyarch has terrible netcode. But they always have had terrible netcode. So it's not surprising to me, right? Infinity Ward has always had great netcode, right? Like, the bullet registration has always been spot on in Infinity Ward games. And Treyarch games have always had kind of shitty bullet re registration so I don't know what's going on I think it's probably because of the new engine they have to refine those things those little details but overall the game looks good I know a lot of people didn't like the UI um, the UI looked terrible in my opinion I mean it looks clean and all but I, I just I, I'm not a big fan I know a lot of people didn't like it I didn't like it so if they can make a little couple adjustments here and there It'll be fine. It looks pretty clean. I like it the way the overall look of it, like the the small details of the left bottom side of the screen having the scoreboard, which it always has, but it looks pretty small, right? Like I don't wanna feel like my screen is cramped. Right, so this is good. It's a clean UI, however, I don't like the look of it. Um for example the, the the colors kind of weird kind of looks cheap I, I don't know what it is I just don't like it um, overall the game looks good it would look better on my TV but well actually I did watch it on my TV but I mean like at full 4k or 1080p for some people right like I want to be able to play it myself but I'm gonna have to wait till August 1st for whatever reason to watch some more gameplay or to watch a trailer that I should have watched two days ago right like it doesn't make sense but whatever um that's it for this video I, I know I've said a lot of ignorant things already but I was trying to play devil's advocate and to be honest there are a little few gripes here and there but whatever I hope I never have to watch something like that on twitch again really it's not my thing I know a lot of people like to watch gameplay and I'm not judging you a everybody has their thing right that they enjoy personally I don't like watching gameplay I don't like watching other people play better choice of words I don't like watching other people play games and talk over the game like that's just not something that I enjoy if you enjoy it more power to you but personally I, I don't like it so thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all soon. Um, if you have any comments about the game or, or the whole Twitch thing, please leave it down in the comments. I will respond. But until then, I'll see y'all soon.